good afternoon from Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are here today because today is July 27th, the very first day that they're offering Magic Band Plus, and this park has the most places where you can buy it, which is just two, which is the five and 10 and Tatooine Traders. And also I think it has the most offerings where it has the interactions with the Fab 50 statues and the Batu Bounty Hunter augmented reality game back in Galaxy's Edge. So it's, I think that this will be the most interactive park to use Magic Band Plus at. We'll go over some more about Magic Band Plus. We just got to get in and try to get one. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. I don't think they're going to run out today, but uh, we're here bright and early. We've got about 45 minutes before the park actually opens to regular day guests. We'll see if we can get in there. All right, so we've made it through security and I think we're headed over to this line over here because everybody that's going in now is early park admission. Everybody that's going in over there is early park admission. People are staying at the hotels and this is our line for regular day guests that are not staying in the hotels. They kind of spread the group out. So I moved a little bit closer to the front of Hollywood Studios. The park officially opens at 8.30. All right, we only have about five more minutes before they're gonna open up the gate, but this front area has definitely filled up. Ooh, they started it. Oh no. All right, everybody's running in. But I feel like nobody's running to do what we're doing. Everybody's just running to go to a ride. But this is exciting. Rope drop is kind of a fun thing. I can see the entrance to the gift shop that we're headed to and nobody's going to it. So everybody's running past trying to go to rides. So I have a feeling we'll be okay. All right, we've made it in. Bo doesn't even have a magic band yet. You would imagine they should give him one, right? He needs a magic band. All right, let's see. So we've got the line here of people going in and I guess there's a little bit of a wait back here. So we are waiting outside the five and 10. We like 10 people ahead of us. I keep saying we, Adam's here too, by the way. The five and 10 or five and dot? Both. Nickel and dime. The nickel and, nobody says that. The nickel and dime. Nope. That sounds bad, doesn't it? I would call it a five and 10 because it says five and 10. Yeah. Like if it said five and dime, yeah. that's what it says in Hollywood, right? Five and dime? Yeah. It says five and dime. All right, here is our display of magic bands. We got lots of them. Pretty good selection of different colors. These are the plain colors. The plain colors are $34.99 and then the specialty ones are $44.99. And they are definitely restocking them as fast as they're flying off the shelves. And then we've got some Star Wars ones over here. Is this an Iron Man one? Yes, sir. Ooh, and a Black Panther one. Very cool. One that just says Grumpy. Ohana means family. Oh, thank you. Walt Sorry. Disney World <laughs> one, fireworks one, Toy Story one. Thank you. Lots of stuff. Just restocked this orange bird one. Is it also like for all parks? What is this? Oh, this is a Tinkerbell one. That makes sense because the keyhole lights up. So there is a second location here in Hollywood Studios, Tatooine Traders, that is selling just the Grogu one and the plain black one, I think is what they said. From what everybody is asking, everybody's looking for the 50th anniversary Magic Band and they do not have it here or from what I've heard anywhere. Interesting thing about the annual pass holder discount on the Magic Band Plus, 20% off, which for the $34.99 equates to $7 off. For the $44.99 it equates to $9 off. But if you are staying at a Disney Resort hotel, you can buy your Magic Band Plus at a pre-arrival price of $10 off. So you can get it for less than you get it with your annual pass holder discount in the park. So we officially have a Magic Band Plus. Let's stop and get a coffee and find a table and start setting it up so we can use it. So we found a spot to sit down and open up our Magic Band Plus. All right, so we flip it over and this is the charging cable because this is the very first Magic Band that has to actually be charged. And I, I think it comes fully charged. Not 100% sure, but we're gonna find out right now. So now that I have my Magic Band open, I go into the My Disney Experience app and I click on the hamburger menu down there that brings up this set of menus. And I go all the way down to the bottom that says link to account. And that brings us here, and if I click on tap, I can tap my Magic Band to connect it. So let's see here. Hold your device close to the band. Okay, I think maybe I have to turn it on. You gotta hold it for three seconds, I said. Okay, it vibrated. So now I've got green lights on here. And now it says it's ready to scan. Did I, do I do something else here? 
Okay, there's it's, it's lights are on and this says ready to scan. But nothing is, oh, there it goes. It was at the top. I had to hold it near the top, linking it to myself. Pair your magic band to get the most out of it. Find the button on the back, hold it down for three seconds. One, two, three. It vibrated and it's pulsing blue. Now it's pairing and it wants to pair my magic band. Pairing complete. We did it. Uh, update this Magic Band Plus. Wow, I have to update the Magic Band already. Just bought it. Oh, and it says my battery is low. Oh no. It needs, requires 60% or more of battery to complete this update. Ooh. Okay, so we've run into a bit of a conundrum here. So the Magic Band Plus that I got has a 20% battery left on it. And it is a solid color, right? I got solid black. But, like we said, we're here with Adam. He got a colorful one. Mine was $10 more than yours before the discount. Right. You got like a little rainbow Mickey Mouse one. Yeah. Okay. But his is fully charged or at least more than 60% because he was able to update his. So my theory is his was produced more recently than mine was because he has one of the more expensive ones, one with color on it, whereas mine's just this plain black one. So I think that these have been sitting in a warehouse for months because there was maybe like a month or two ago that somebody accidentally put out the stock of Magic Band Plus into World of Disney for like an hour. People ran in and bought them and they took them off the shelves. So I know that they've had stock of these things sitting in a warehouse somewhere. And that makes sense as to why they needed to be updated right as soon as we opened the package because they'd just been sitting there. And that also sort of like leans into the fact that that's why my battery is already low. So I have to figure out if I go out to the car, sit and let it charge so that it gets up to 60%. I don't know how fast it charges and then update it so that I can use it. I'm sure I could use it now, but like I wanna make sure that all of the functions are working for the different things, the Badoo Bounty Hunter, the Fab 50 scavenger hunt type thing. So I want it to be charged enough to update it. Or do I just go and buy another Magic Band? I don't know. Link think, that one to I Jen's account. Charge it. Okay. If it was me, I would just charge it. If it was you. It might, it might just be a, a, a weird coincidence that mine Right, like charged. if I buy another one, it might not be charged. Right, exactly. I wish there was a way to know before buying it, but there's not. There's no you have to pair it. And then once you pair it, you can't return it because it's paired to your account. Yeah. It's a scam. <laughs> Adam just brought up a good point that this whole thing is bringing us on a journey. The fact that like, could you just buy this charger for a Magic Band? Because it is proprietary. It's not like a USB-C or USB micro or whatever. It is this special plug that you have to clip your Magic Band onto. So people are gonna lose this. What do you think maybe Disney will just like send you another one if you say, oh, I lost it? I would imagine at some point, if not already, they will start selling these separately in the stores. They have to. They should just sell this part with a USB-C yeah. on it. They might already have them in there. I didn't even pay I, attention to look. I looked, but I didn't see anything. Let's go back here. We're gonna see if we can find just like a plug that I can plug this into rather than going out to the car and getting a battery for it and everything. The line for Magic Band Plus is a little bit longer now. So I'm gonna go into Disney & Co. See if I can find just like a wall plug. Do they sell phone accessories in here? They said they don't have one of those plugs to plug it into a wall socket. So I think we have to go back out to the car to get the uh, to get the, the battery pack that's out in the car. So we'll see how fast it charges. Hopefully it's quick, but we've got, we've got time. You know, the park just opened. I don't have anything else to do. So we can be charging it while we're riding rides or anything like that. All right, I came back out to the car. Let's see if this charges. Oh, it's hard to do one-handed. Did it clip in? I think it did. The light on my little battery pack turned on. Is there no light that tells me that this is charging? I guess not. You just gotta hope that it is charging. Maybe I can look at my app and see if it says that it's charging. All right, yeah, it says it's charging and I can update it while it's charging. Gotta admit, like I'm kind of like testing the limits of this thing, right? Like you can wear it while you're charging it if you have a small enough charger. And uh, I mean, it's working, it's charging. I was able to update it. So I have another theory, all right? So I have it charging. I do feel like the bionic man with my magic band on here charging at the moment. No, 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 no. The million dollar man, right? Hundred million dollar man? How many? I'm, you know my 34.99. Bruce Hornsby. Steve Austin. Steve Austin. The wrestler took his name from the bionic man. Oh, okay. Fun fact. Fun fact. Uh, 
so I have it plugged in. It is charging. You can wear it while charging. It's a little bit strange. We're going to check and see if you can use it to get into the park while charging. But here's my theory. So I have this theory that they've been sitting in boxes, right? The, the solid color ones have been sitting in boxes longer than the design ones, like the one that Adam got. And this kind of holds up. When Adam updated his, it went quick, maybe like 45 seconds. Mine took probably about three minutes to update, meaning that yours had a more up-to-date firmware on it when it was packaged. And mine had an older firmware because it had to go through all of the iterations of the firmware. Okay. Interesting, right? I'm just, I got a conspiracy theories on conspiracy theories about my Magic Band Plus. Headed back into Disney's Hollywood Studios. So the thing is, even when the Magic Band Plus is dead, it's supposed to be able to be used to get into the park for purchases, for all the same things that a normal Magic Band would be used for. We'll see if it actually works. Well, it's charging still too. All right, let's see what happens. I have to be charging it. Let's see. Oh, it's vibrating. Oh, okay. Same colors as the as the touch point. That was exciting. That's a good point to note is, number one, still work to get in. It's supposed to work while it's actually dead to get in. It did, but the lights and the vibration also happened when I tapped in. So that means that while it's charging, it should be able to still complete the plus tasks. So a magic band would get you in, a magic band plus would get you in and perform these other tasks that we're gonna go and experiment with right now. Interactivity with the uh, Golden Fab 50 statues and the Batu Bounty Hunters AR game back there in Galaxy's Edge. So let's go have a look at some of these golden statues. So as we're walking up, I pulled up the Play app because that is how you interact with the Magic Band Plus. Ooh, my Magic Band started vibrating. Did it? I don't know why. Let me look at it. So you gotta open the Play app? I don't know, maybe it's because I'm getting close to the Fab 50 statues. For some reason, the Play app thought that I was in, oh, here we go, the Fab 50 quest. It thought that I was in Disneyland. So, we're gonna click Start Quest on the Play app, and you have to link your Magic Band Plus before starting this quest. I don't know what mine's doing. It's thinking for a second. It says, welcome to the Fab 50 Quest. Spread your pixie dust with your Magic Band Plus as it guides you across four theme parks in search of 36 golden statues, featuring a total of 50 Disney characters. When you're near one, the golden sculpture of the Magic Land will vibrate and lights will spin and glow white. Wave your, whoa, like that? Okay, wave your Magic, oh, it's vibrating right now. You gotta wave it and then we'll get it. You have to wave at the characters and then it'll, and well, then you unlock AR magic. Open magical doorways. Ooh, exciting. Okay. Pixie dust me. Oh, that's me. Look at that. I'm getting a little pixie dust on myself. We did it. All right, so we have to find seven here at Hollywood Studios. Lucky for us, we're very close to them. So we're having another issue Whereas Adam did not update any of his apps before coming out here. So as soon as he got here, he had to update my Disney experience. He had to update the Disney Play app. It's a little bit of a challenge because I think everyone's on their cell phone. Right, everybody's on Wi-Fi trying to do the games and stuff. So. But I'm even on my regular LTE with four or five bars and it's still very slow. Still so having a hard time. Is yours, is yours vibrating right now? Because it's, it's vibrating. It's vibrating a lot. Telling me that it's like time for me to go up and, and experiment, wave around. at somebody. It's just spinning around. The Fab 50 Quest is spinning. Ooh. All right, so I've got my Magic Band is, is vibrating. I've got my, my Fab 50 Quest open and I go up to R2 and I wave at him. He made some noise. My guy vibrated and I think both of these Oh, I got super cool. He knocks villains out cold. I don't know what this is. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. Okay, this one. Loyal Rebel. Okay, R2-D2, all right. And then did I already get this one too? Is it both? Roll Model, okay, so I, when, you, when you wave at one, it gives you both. So I got Roll Model for BB-8, and I got, uh, what was the other one? Loyal Rebel for R2. Okay. A well-rounded little droid has the gumption and gadgets to get out of any bind. When's the last time you heard somebody describe a droid with gumption? That's ridiculous. So I took my charger off and it's been charging for maybe like 45 minutes. It says it's full. So that's great. So I was able to set off BB-8 and R2 just once. I didn't ever hear BB-8 make any noise. Just heard R2 make noise. Uh, so now we're gonna head over here to Frozone and Edna Mode, set them off, 
then I might try to go back over to R2 and see if I can set them off again. There is a QR code here to download the Play Disney app that you will need to experience this or to participate in this. And I don't have my app open right now, so let's see. Okay. Oh, okay, they're playing the Incredibles theme, but there is also a very loud speaker right behind Frozone that makes it so you can't hear his noises. So let's see Edna Mode. All right, are you gonna do it? I think, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, okay, so Edna's making a little noise here, y'all. There we go, so there we go. All right, yeah. so that worked. It was just like a little song right there that she like kind of displayed the music. You didn't wave at her, did you? Yeah. Okay, you gotta wave at her. Oh, I got to wave at it. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to wave like this. See? Ah. So now mine's going off. You're supposed to wave. He just did a little wave and then she made the noise. Yeah. Okay, so now I have opened up my app and it says that I got Frozone and I got Edna Mode. Okay. Darling. Called out of retirement, this incredible woman makes capeless outfits all a mode. Okay. And what does Frozone say? Unlocked it. He knocks villains out cold. Download to activate. Okay. Activating a Disney Play friend. View. Okay. Move your camera. Oh, okay, it's got to detect a wall. Okay. Tap to activate. Ooh. What was that? Just, oh, there he is. Look at that. It's like a big headed version of Frozone. That was exciting. Oh, so now I can do that again. Let's see what other, because I have other ones. Let's see, let's do R2, right? Okay, he doesn't have one. BB-8 doesn't have one. Edna Mode doesn't have one. So it looks like Frozone is the only one that has one. So this is Jeremiah, he writes for laughingplace.com and he is ruining my theory because <laughs> he bought the Grogu Magic Band and his battery was dead. Yeah. So Adam's had a charge with it and my theory was that his was produced earlier than mine because it is has a graphic on it. Yeah. But I guess maybe they've had this Grogu one also in a, in a warehouse. So I was talking to the guys, the tech, because they were back the two bounty hunters and they said that everyone was supposed to be charged before they were put out. Okay. Which I don't know how they could do that because this is pretty well wrapped up. I'm sure you did the unboxing of like yeah. trying to get it out and do all that. But yeah, it, I walked up, tapped it. It said, update. When the guy, I go back like, did you update it? It's like, it won't let me because it that... says 60% and it didn't have a percentage. It just said low on mine. You can update it while it's charging right now. Oh. So that's what I did. And then you don't have to have it fully charged. It can be at 20% and it'll still work. But you couldn't get the statues to work no. without updating it. No. And, and you couldn't get Batu Bounty Hunter to work either? I could get Batu Bounty Hunter to work. There were times where it'd go a little haywire. It'd bounce all over the place. But okay. overall, it was working fine. Um, some of the doors took a little while longer to locate. I saw people just walking right up and hitting it. And I was staying in front of it for a little bit before it triggered the perk. Okay. So we were talking to Jeremiah and he said from the media event, they said that some of these statues could have up to five different things. Oh, she's still going. So is she gonna do again now that I'm here? See, I can't get her to go more than once. Oh, it's vibrating, there it goes. Okay, so this is my second time doing Edna and she played a short trill. I can't hear what Frozone's thing is, so we'll see. Uh, well, maybe we'll do one that talks to you, maybe like Woody or something like that and see if we can get him to go off twice. So we've headed over here, a big group of people standing outside looking at Chip and Dale and we are going over to Woody and Who's over here? Is this Woody and Bo Peep? Get your magic band to update? Yeah. Yeah, I wish I could get my All right, let's see Woody and, there, oh, there, there she goes. But the music everywhere else is so loud, I don't know what that was. I think it may have been You've Got a Friend in Me? Quick, yeah, you yeah. got a friend. Speaking of the Toy Story characters, we've got some of them coming down right now in the Pixar Pals Cavalcade. This is incredible. And there's Edna. Edna, I just waved at your statue. Green Army men coming down. There's a very excited Woody. And then here 
here comes Buzz Lightyear. Oh, Chip and Dale are packing up their picnic. Gotta fold it up nicely. Dale, I think, would be the best at setting up a picnic. I'm like a true Dale stan. Oh, my magic bands just started vibrating for Joe over there. Right, let's see if we can get Joe to work here. All right, Joe, play me some songs here. Ooh. Nice little jazz trill from Joe. All right, so I got two more statues here. Oh, okay. I can download and activate a Disney friend, Bo Peep and Woody. Then I just gotta find a flat surface to put them on. Here we go. So I click it. And then now I have to find a flat surface like this trash can here, right? And then I click on it to add it. There's a door. Oh, wow. Door popped open. And there's Bo Peep. Inside the trash Inside can. Inside of the trash can on Midway Mania. I don't know, I gotta get down low. And there's Woody too. Look at That's that. Cool. Oh, I, gotta, wow. I gotta go a little bit further over. Oh, and they closed the door. All right, we've got one more to find. We have to find the Little Mermaid, right? Undersea swimmers. Where is Ariel? Where is the Little Mermaid? I'm just kidding, it's not, it's Flounder. I have to find Flounder and Sebastian. Our last one here in Hollywood Studios. I'm gonna wave at Flounder and Sebastian. Give Flounder and Sebastian. Oh, I can hear the water. Yeah. We're, we're under the sea now. This one's very loud. I like this one. That's nice. Okay, that just happened. Right? Now you wave your arm, see if we get a different noise. See if we get a different noise? Let me see your umbrella. Okay, hold my umbrella. Get a good get a good wave. A good no, wave. like you're waving at Hello, them. Sebastian. Hello. Okay, here we go. Oh no, it's the no, same no, one. It's just still under the sea right there. So okay. okay. It's just the same one. But this one's very loud. I like that. Much louder than the music and louder than the other four. On the, the other ones side. Over there, I wasn't impressed with because you can't hear them. Right, especially Frozone. There's a speaker right behind him. Yeah, very loud. These are better. Yeah. They're my favorite so far. Now we got to go back to Galaxy's Edge. That's got to be the road. That's the that's the I'm said Smuggler's Run. Oh, but two bounty hunters. Two bounty. Hunters. Oh, now we've got some like steel drums playing. Adam just set it off again. Sounds good. It looks like a marimba. Okay, those are called undersea swimmers. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You this have... Calypso-loving individual and his yellow and blue pal aren't crabby and don't flounder. Why do you think they're not saying, like, Sebastian and Flounder? Why do they have this little riddle here? It just played a song from The Incredibles over here at Sebastian and Flounder. Another thing is that you can change the color options for the lighting. So I could change it to, like, ocean blue. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Pink. Uh, let's see, green. Green, I can do red. And I don't know when these Black lights red. happen. Or it'll go off when you're over here. Or, or if they off. happen all the time, like I can change the colors. I'm gonna pick ocean blue, and maybe just like blue, blue. When I go back here to settings, go down to that one. I can turn the light off. I can turn vibration off. I'm gonna increase motion recognition because that's what they recommend. Connected park experiences, you can turn those off to save battery maybe. So I think we did it. Something else that Adam just brought up is now that we've been doing it, it's been vibrating a lot and everything. I'm interested to see what the battery life is like on it now. Mine still says full. So I think that it's gonna last a while yeah. for sure. So something else that I wanted to add about Magic Band Plus is not only does it do everything that a regular traditional Magic Band 2 does and a Magic Band 1, but it is also water resistant. Like you can wear it in your resort pool. You can wear it in the pool. It will not get ruined in the rain. The rain will not hurt it. So you know, it's not anything you have to worry about. I was just thinking like uh, maybe they will be adding different interactivities with the Magic Band Plus in the future. But like how cool would it be if you could come in here and wave at Big Woody right there and he could say, hey there, Tim, or something like that, you know, or even just like howdy, partner. And also we're passing by Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Still no updates. Or even just not to create a crowd around Woody, do like one of the Green Army Men, or even like Rex or Jesse. Passing by Toy Story Midway Mania. I'm actually gonna go in the exit over here because I believe that they reopened the gift shop at the end of the ride. It was Jesse's trading post. All right, here we are. We're going in the exit of Toy Story Midway Mania to have a look at the gift shop here. So now you have to leave through the gift shop before it was just kind of off on the side. Now you have to go through it. And there it is, Jesse's trading post. The big sign that says welcome. I like some of the merch in here. It's very cool. We'll definitely come back and do a little bit more in-depth look at some of the merch in here because today is all about Magic Band Plus. Although I do love this Planet Pizza jacket. It's cool. 
Like, I like how retro it looks. All right, here we are. We are headed into Batu, Galaxy's Edge. Now that we've made it into Batu, I had to open up my app again, my Disney Play app, my Play Parks app, and I have to start my quest for my Star Wars Batu Bounty Hunters. So we'll see how to play this game now. So it says, to begin, head to the bounty board located in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Tap your band on the medallion at the bounty board to accept a job. Follow the signal. Green band lights will show up getting closer to your target. Red lights show you're moving further away. Okay. So we have to... Look at this guy's hand. He's got little tentacles. All right, so we have to tap our band on the medallion to receive a job. And then it'll tell us green or red, depending on which way we have to go. Check your band for confirmation that you've located the target. The lights will turn purple. Okay, scan the door with your thermal scanner to identify the target. Then visit the Guildmaster's hideout to collect your credits. Where is the Guildmaster's hideout? Okay, there it goes. Okay, repeat until you've located all of the targets. Then you'll be invited to join the Guild of Bounty Hunters. Ooh, that's exciting. So we have to go and find the bounty board, which it looks like there's a line to get to the bounty board over here. It's just to the right of this, like, uh, what would you call this, like mechanic shop here? Well, you'll see like Ray and the stormtroopers and stuff on top of just across from Ronto Roasters. Hey, how's it going? So we're gonna hop in line and get a quest. Do you have to come back to this every time? I think you probably do. So we also just realized that the final door over here is is right is right there. What did we say it was called? It was called like the the Bounty Master's headquarters or something like that. All right, I'm gonna film. Adam doing it really quick. We'll see what right, he gets. Here it is. Now I got here. So we got here to this. Then I, so I take this and I tap that. Like that. Okay. okay activated. And then you now, get a bounty. Okay, this thing's vibrating. Okay, I've got to track. Oh, this is your perfect oh, it's game. sending you. data. So you're you're going to track something. Tell oh, me yeah. Tracker. Okay. Red intensifies the vibration. Sending data to my band. And then when you get purple, that's where you're supposed to be. And then my fingers are gonna do this, like a little- Your little squid fingers. Squid fingers, like Zoidberg from Futurama. Then activate your thermal viewer. Okay. And, and then I visit the Guide Master's hideout, which is right here. No, it's Guild Master. Guild Master, sorry. Guild Master, right oh, you gotta door. find, you gotta find a little- Is this the Guild Master? No, that's the guy you gotta find, it's Edmo. Kind of... Is he smoking a cigarette? <laughs> I can tell what that was. He's doing something. Right, your turn, Tim. Good luck, your for good fortune awaits. I gotta wait go. till it, okay. There you go. All right. Mine just doing it. Again. Yours vibrating, mine's vibrating. All right, so it's giving me the same instructions. Let's see who I get. Is it sending it to both of us? It might be doing both of us, maybe because we're close. There's, There's the guild master. master. Not the guide master. There's an L in there. Sorry, I can't read. Oh, oh I gotta find can... Bolt. His name is Bolt. B O L T. Nice. You have it... 525 credits. I wonder how many you got. So, this is gonna be hard to see. Yeah, we should have done this at night. Right? It's green right now. It's lighting up green, telling me I'm going in the right direction. If it was red, what color it is. I was going in the wrong direction. You gotta put it in your shadow. Oh, I gotta put it in my shadow? What color is it? It's still green. All right, we're gonna just follow green. Okay, I don't even know if you can tell. Mine's vibrating in angrily at me, and it just turned red, as if I had walked past what I was looking for. Maybe I need to go up those stairs that way. Does red mean I'm close or red mean I'm close? Red's long? bad. Red, red means you've bad. gone the wrong way. You gotta go back over this one. I think I gotta go up these stairs. Mine never turned back to green as if I was heading the right direction. So we're gonna head through Ronto Roasters, see if maybe it'll start turning green. This will also be easy. Oh, it's green now, okay. So I'm heading in the right hey, direction. Yours is red. red. Mine's still really red. Okay, no, yours turned green. Oh, mine's green. Okay, so I think we're okay. both headed in the right direction. Mine's green and it just started vibrating a lot. It's getting, it's like angry green at me. Okay. So I think we're heading in the right direction. Okay, Adams is purple, so now you gotta open up the scanner. How do I do no, that? No, on your phone, you have to open up the, the open thermal the scanner. Okay, it says tap, tap to activate thermal scanner. Yeah, point it at the door. The entire door? Yeah, point it at the door. Scan the entire door like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, I can't do see what yours is doing. Now tap it. The tap it, level little tap? Maybe. Oh look. yeah, it's, 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 the doorway. It's, it's doing it. This would be much easier to see at night, Tim. Oh yeah, for sure. Searching the doorway. Okay. Move it up and down. People are getting in the way here. Okay, try it again. Point it at the top of the door there? Point at the top of the door, scanning the door. Okay. I'm looking for the smoking alien. Ooh, oh, 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 oh,
doing something. It's now. You Carson, did it. Look, look, there he is. You got it. You got the guy. Look, that's him. What's his name? Ecto? His name is, I don't know. It just says target oh. located. Oh, is that? What's happening? I think you, you started. Now Let's you have see. to. I'm going to collect a credit. Yeah, you have to go back to the to the guild masters. Go all the way back over there to the guild yeah. masters. and then you can get another another guy. All right. That you got to find. Sounds so now I have to find mine. Yeah. Mine's green find now. Mine's very green. Is it this door? Is he back at this door? Let's see. Maybe I need to open up my app too. Maybe that'll make it easier. All right. So I already came to this door and it turned red once, but now it turned purple. So now I have to scan my door. Let's see. Searching through the doorway, searching for doorways. There's my doorway. You got to be kind of far away from it, which is hard to do. You got to step way back. Target is near. There he is. Look, you can see him inside of there. I got him. All right. Target located. Now I have to go back to the guild. <laughs> now I have to go back to the guild master's hideout to collect my credits. Yeah, we don't want to let these guys know where the guild master's hideout is. It's right here. Okay. We have to get back here. Don't look over. No, we have to go to this door. We got to go to the. You were just complaining. You hope it's not all doors. It's all doors. We have to go to this door right here. It's all doors. It's all doors. It's all going to be doors. The this is the masters behind here. The doors of, of Galaxy's Edge. You're going to stick your band in there? Am I going in? Yeah, do it. I'm going oh, you gotta, in. Oh, your hand's going to turn into a little squid hand. Oh, the squid, the, the Zoidberg hand. I'm going in. See what happens. Oh, there Ooh. It is. Now, is the guild master going to pop up here? Oh, no, I think you're supposed to leave it in there so it gets. Oh, no, it figured it out. Figure it out. Is he gonna? Oh yeah! Look, there he I is. See you found the first bounty. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. But you'll need to collect a lot more to join the bounty hunters guild. Okay. Here are your credits. Okay. I got my credits. That was neat. You got 875. Mine was not nearly that much. What do you try it, Jeff? Mine was only see like what the guild master tells like 300, you. 300. 300. Hello. Okay. Got to scan my arm there. That looks cool. Beep beep. Let's see what he says. I see you found the first bounty. Not bad, but you'll need to collect a lot more to join the Bounty Hunters Guild. Here are your credits. Thank you. How many did you get? I got 525. How many did I get? Like 800. I got a lot more credits than you. What the heck? You found, because you found the lizard guy, I just found a robot. There he's like, that was easy. You can barely even move. So we gotta get back in this Yeah, we gotta do it again. Oh no, he's, he's gonna expose the guild master. Oh, you just turned around. I hope, I hope they don't see me trying to get a new... I guess bounty hunting's not against the law or anything, right? Or is it? Oh, who did I... Oh, it didn't. Okay, so the second time you do it, you don't get the whole thing. You just get, like, your, your bounty. You just, like, here's your bounty. Go do it. That's good. I like that. Like, look at how quick this is. See? What'd you get? I'm looking for well, you get 900 credits? Holy macaroni. How are you getting so many high credit bounties? You're gonna run this town pretty soon. Bit of a tip for you for playing Batu Bounty Hunters. There are two sections where there are doors that you can scan. They're all the way on the other side over in the market where we just were, and they're over there by Savi's, or by uh, Ogus Cantina. So that's where I believe that all of the packs of doors are. So if you're red, as you start to head towards Ogus Cantina, head over to the other end of the the marketplace. So let's try it. Let's see if my theory is correct. Should head back over there. Yeah. Another tip for you is, I think that it works better if you have the app open as you're walking around, rather than just trying to rely on the magic band. Getting another. I've got another one. I've got Jaga Badur. Another 575 credit. Here's my issue. Adam's getting like 900 credit bounties, 800 credit bounties. Mine have been 500. That means I'm getting double the credits you are. I don't understand. What the heck? I need to talk to the, the guild, guild master. master. It's because I mispronounced his name. Next time, ask him, tell him, for, ask him for more credits. Okay, so it started vibrating green. It's not very fast though. It's just telling me it's green. I know you guys can't see it, but trust me, it's green. So I do believe that we have a good theory of there being two areas, two sectors, where the doors are. Yeah, vibrating a lot. All right, here we go. Let's see, this door maybe? This one doesn't have, a, oh, there's the symbol up there. Nope, not this one. Oh, this one's beeping back here though. Yeah, you gotta kinda hang out next to the door for a second. All right, tap to scan the door. 
Here we go. Trying to find doorways. Certain, oh, oh, there he is. On the inside. I found you. Got you. Got him. Tap to report the location to the guild. We did it. All right, now we gotta go back to the guild master. Look at this, C-3PO came over to, to join the guild. You think he's a bounty hunter now? 3PO might have come over here to see the guild master. Right? Those are his footprints. What if 3PO is the guild master and he's just wearing a disguise oh, here? Oh, you have just, you're gonna like break the internet with that right? conspiracy. Stuck the whole arm in there. Oh, it's supposed to be like right there, okay. So Adam told me, hey, Back can, so soon with yeah. your second bounty. Y can I? Nice job. Yes, thank but you. can you find more? Yes, if you Here give me more credits. credits. I need more credits though. Oh. Uh, you, uh, only 500 credits. Dang. How many credits am I gonna get, Tim? 900? How many credits am I gonna get? Jeez Louise. Nice job. Ask him to give me but more can credits. can you find more? I can find more. He has Here your credits. Ask him, ask him, ask him to give me, oh. Can Tim have more credits? He, 900. <laughs> Jeez Louise. How come you didn't get my I got, because I got, I got lousy, he doesn't like me. I, you were making fun of him, calling him Guildna Guildmaster. No, Guildmaster Radner, which is fun, actually. You gotta mock him a little bit to get the money. Man, all right. I feel like you can follow C-3PO all around. He came over here, did some work over here, and then he left, and he walked over to the Guildmaster. Moving up, 700 credits this time. Chewy and Vi. There they go. So now mine's flashing green fast over here by Oga's. So we're heading to a different area for this bounty. Look at that, Kylo Ren's out and about. He's, he's telling I want them, like, all units searching this outpost. If they are here, they will not escape. Who are we looking for? Understood, sir. Okay, bye. All right, I got mine over at this door right here. Look at that. Whoa. All right, reporting him to the guild. Here he goes, Black Spire Outpost. I wonder where they got the name and the other stormtrooper just points. He's like right there. It's these Black Spires. All right, I finished my third bounty. I'm gonna turn him in. All right, so I'm gonna ask him again for a higher. Can I have a higher bounty? Yeah. Not bad. For an off-worlder. Oh, off-worlder. It's time That's to find I'm from your Earth. way around this planet, but you seem to do just fine. Yeah. Here are your credits. Thank you. Can I have more next time? Oh. That's enough. Hey guys, how's it going? Have you pledged your loyalty to the First Order? I mean, I'm kind of neutral in the whole matter. Have you pledged your support to the First Order? I mean, do I have to? Being evasive isn't helping. Consider this a warning. Okay. I'm watching you. Oh. Is affirmative. Thank you. All right. Move on. I'm going this way, actually. Oh. Enjoy the day. Thank you. I'm gonna go eat some pizza. <laughs> all right, all that bounty hunting worked up an appetite. Time to head over to Pizza Rizzo, my new favorite restaurant in Hollywood Studios. All right, I got my Pizza Rizzo pizza. I got my side salad, and I got my cannoli. It's a strawberry cannoli. All right, so now we need to make one more stop to go to Tatooine Traders, which is where they're selling the Magic Band Plus. Then I think we've gotten the majority of what it, like Magic Band Plus is all about. The only thing that we weren't able to show you today, and we will show you a different day, is the interactivity of the band with a fireworks show, a spectacular, a nighttime spectacular. So Magic Band Plus does interact with Disney's Enchantment at Magic Kingdom and Harmonious over at Epcot. So we're definitely gonna be back one night to check out the fireworks displays and see how the Magic Band Plus interacts and reacts to the fireworks. So we've got one more stop before we head out for the day, and that is over to Tatooine Traders over by Star Tours, because that is the second location that they are selling the Magic Band Plus, and this is the only park that has two locations that is selling Magic Band Plus. So, we're going. So over here by Star Tours, right at the exit, we are going into Tatooine Traders. And they have a very small selection of Magic Band Plus over here. They have the Mandalorian one, and then it looks like just a plain old black one over there too. Those are the only two that they have here at Tatooine Traders. All right, so there you have it. That was the grand opening day of Magic Band Plus here at Hollywood Studios. Very first day they were for sale. Very first day that all of the interactive elements were available to the public. It was neat. It was like a little bit kind of like aggravating that it wasn't fully charged because I think they're supposed to be fully charged when you're buying them. 
so you can start using them with the interactive elements right away. But like I said, mine was not. And it was kind of a little bit annoying that you had to update the firm firmware right when you got it. So there is kind of like a lengthy process of setting up your Magic Band Plus. But once you get it set up, it's cool. Like you get to interact with the golden statues, with the Fab 50 statues, and then you also get to play Batute Bounty Hunter, and then it will interact with the fireworks. In addition to being your tickets into the park, uh, your lightning lane activation, like your the way of activating your lightning lane, your hotel room key, uh, the way of charging if you're staying at a Disney resort, a lot of functions of a Magic Band. Uh, the only addition, or the only change from Magic Band to Magic Band Plus is the addition of the interactive elements. The Fab 50 statues, the two Bounty Hunter, and the interactivity with the uh, with the fireworks, and when you walk into the gate, it lights up and, and haptic feedback, stuff like that. So, if you're interested in that stuff, it is a cool piece of tech, but you don't need to buy it. You can buy a regular Magic Band, just like the ones that we've had before this day. So, all in all, it was really neat seeing the interactive element and the technology element that they've added, and the, the way that they're moving forward with stuff here at Disney. It's cool. I can't wait to see like what kind of stuff they add to it, if they do. Like if they add another game over at one of a different park, who knows? The world is their palm tree. And all in all, it was a fantastic day. With that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm Melissa from Peru. And I'm Rodrigo from Peru. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>